to me there's a ca cows in this group that just have a little more maturity on them to go over this uh, group in fourth. Fourth over fifth, a uh, bit of a closer placing as well. However, I just like to prefer the overall frame makeup uh, these cows have. Their cows, although they are milked out when they were exhibited earlier today in their classes, they're cows that had a little nicer seams today than the fifth group. The winner of the best three females won an award presented by South Mountain Jerseys, Ernie Keepner and Terry Packard of Boonesboro, Maryland. The class now in the ring is the exhibitors heard. They will be winning an award presented by Ghost Hollow of Oklahoma. If you'd like to mark your catalogs in the Milking Shorthorn Show, I now have the official placings for the senior two-year-old cow class. Entry 1552 was second in the class and best bred and owned B&B &B Fairies Magic, shown by Matthew Baxter of Baxter's Never Idle Farm, Newman, Illinois. 1553 was ninth. 1554 was third, GMC Princeton, Leona, shown by Greg and Marcia Clark of Cornish Flat, New Hampshire. 1555 was fourth. 1556 was seventh and the second junior, Valley View Oakley 2390 EXP, shown by Brittany Crawley, Gravette, Arkansas. Entries 1557 and 1558 scratched. 1559 was 8th, 1560 was 12th, 1561 placed 13th, 1562 scratched, 1563 was 11th. 1564 and 1565 did not show. 1566 was 10th. 1567 scratched. 1568 was sixth in the class and was the production award winner. Kuzmar SR Primrose Siggy 96. At two years of age, 267 days, she produced 18,627 pounds of milk, 3.0% fat, 550 pounds of fat, 3.1% protein, and 577 pounds of protein. Entry 2992 was fifth. Entry 2993 was the winning entry, the first junior-owned animal, and best udder, Lazy M PS Lady Lump EXPET, shown by Scotty Young and Brett Grebner, Monroe, Wisconsin. The cows now in the ring are those competing as junior three-year-olds. The first place award in this class is presented in memory of Lillian and Keith King by Kingsdale Farms, Victoria, Illinois. The production award is presented by Prairie Farms. The best utter rosette is presented by The Cattle Connection. And the junior award is presented by Rovin Acres, The Ruzik Family, Hickston, Wisconsin. Would those junior exhibitors in the class please take a step forward? The second place junior is entry 1578, MPS Famous Penny 211 EXP, 
shown by Clayton Schwendeman of Hartford, Wisconsin. Third place in the class and the first junior owned animal is 1577 Heavenly Cream Puff shown by Jonathan Clark, Cornish, New Hampshire. Second in the class is entry 1580 Core Star Presto Lulu ET shown by Corey and Kristen Salzal, Litchfield, Minnesota. Winning the class with the best udder and best bred and own honors is entry 1569 Core Star Presto Mango PEXP shown by Corey and Kristen Salzal, Litchfield, Minnesota. Congratulations. And now to our judge for his reasons. Yeah, that's a great round of applause for a beautiful class of cows. We've got some impressive cows down the line here, but I really think these two cows sorted themselves to the top today. I thought it was an extremely close placing before we pulled them in. Um, the cow that's winning the class is fresh just a month now. A cow that maybe needs to get a little bit of her flank back, but she has an advantage over the cow in second with the height of her rear udder today, the length to her fore udder and the strength of the attachment. She's a little cleaner and flatter bone down the hock than the cow in second. She's a little more stylish all the way through than the cow in second. The second place cow makes it close though. She's the second best udder in class. She's got more frame than the first cow. She's got more width to her chest, more depth to her heart today, more width throughout just not quite the overall style and not quite as good in the mammary system as the cow in first, but a beautiful pair of cows. The second cow goes over the third cow because of her advantage in the rear udder today. She's more in bloom. She's got more fullness at the top of her rear udder and more balance to her rear quarters. That third cow is a stunning side view cow. When she walks in the ring and you get a look at her, what a beautiful long open dairy frame, great width all the way through just like to complete the rear udder, just uh, make it a little higher and wider at the point of rear udder attachment today to get her up into the top spot, but a beautiful cow, fresh since March. She uses her advantage in length of frame and how she keeps her legs underneath her as she walks to go over the cow that's in fourth. I love the youthfulness of the cow in fourth. She's feminine, clean, and dairy with a very tight, well-attached udder, and she uses that strength of udder attachment and width to her mammary to go over the cow that's in in uh, fifth place. The fifth place cow over the one in six, just more youthful in her mammaries today. The uh, sixth place cow just fresh here with her second calf, just a little too much volume of udder for the senior two-year-old class today, but a beautiful group of cows with an impressive pair of winners. Congratulations.